lovable love of my life. I remember when you told me that I was poetic and that you thought that was hot. But you told your best friend that you cut me off because I wrote too many poems about you. You see how those two things work together, how we couldn't work together, it's interesting. Hey, you don't know a puzzle piece is missing until the puzzle is almost finished. And you sit and stare as if you wonder if that missing piece is in her jeans pocket, like where she keeps her hair ties and pieces of your broken heart. You begin to wonder if the puzzle piece is inside yourself, and that's why she ripped you apart to look for it. Then you tear the puzzle back to pieces and try and forget about the one that is missing, but you don't forget. And every day I still fall in love with you, even though I haven't seen you in months. I just remember how my grandma loves my grandpa even though he's been gone for a while. It's the kind of love that is truly unconditional. But with you, it feels almost wrong. I'm hung up on a smile that wasn't meant for me. I'm stuck picking pennies from the ground and trying to hang them in the sky as if they were stars or every letdown I've ever witnessed. And sadly, in the game of love, there is no difference between witness and victim. Because a broken heart is much like broken ribs. Not visible to the eye, but it hurts every time you breathe in. And I'm still trying to decide if it was you that broke my heart or me that broke my ribs from beating myself up over you. It leaves me breathless. The same way your kiss did. But this time my heart's not racing. Actually, I haven't felt it beat since I saw you last. Because if I remember correctly, that was when I first realized that I love someone unlovable.